Well, if you're just joining us uh, here now on France 24, the nation is paying tribute today to a fallen officer who sacrificed his life to help end a terror attack. That was last Friday in the southern French town of Trèbes, which is not far from the medieval city of Carcassonne. Uh, the officer was a 44-year-old named Arnaud Beltram. Uh, he was killed after he exchanged his life. He took the place of a female hostage uh, who was there taken during that terror attack, uh, and that made him the fourth victim of that shooting spree that ended with the attacker himself being shot dead by the police. Now, Bertrand, the officer, has been hailed as a hero for his actions. Today, he's getting a full honor ceremony here in Paris. What you're seeing right now on your screens are the images of the car that's holding his remains uh, that was traveling through the streets of Paris, uh, a car that left uh, from outside the Pantheon Memorial in Paris, uh, making its way uh, there through the streets of Paris along the Quai of the Seine, uh, getting a rare uh, ringing of the bells uh, from Notre Dame Cathedral uh, in tribute to him as well. Um, this is the Invalide Memorial in the 7th arrondissement of Paris. It's just alongside the the Seine River, where that car and uh, all of those uh, motorcycles, the Republican Guard surrounding him, will be going into the center courtyard for a ceremony that will begin in about a half an hour from now, 11.30 a.m. French time. The president, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron, will be giving a eulogy as well uh, at that ceremony. Macron, of course, uh, uh, facing his first, the first terror attack on his watch, just to remind you, there have been 20 terror attacks here in France since 2014 of varying, various degrees. Uh, uh, but you do remember, of course, in November 2015, uh, those horrific attacks here in Paris that left 130 people dead, uh, the worst among all of them. Well, our colleague uh, Nadia Massi is inside the courtyard there that you can see of uh, the Invalide, and she is now going to join us. Uh, Nadia, can you just uh, uh, talk us through a bit uh, what's planned for this ceremony today? Yes, Jeannie, the ceremony here due to begin behind me in around half an hour's time. Beltran's coffin still winding its way uh, through central Paris before it arrives here around 11.30. As you may be able to see behind me, the gendarmerie honour guard uh, getting ready to honour his body uh, when it arrived. They've been practising here for the last half an hour or so. Some 200 of his colleagues from the gendarmerie are here to pay tribute uh, to him, as are members of the public in general, as well as uh, his family. Uh, and the family of the three other people who lost their lives uh, last week. Now, we know Emmanuel Macron will be giving a eulogy uh, at some point this morning. We've been billed to say that it's going to be a relatively short, straightforward, somber speech uh, from the president. And uh, the, the, the focus here will be to pay tribute to the life of Beltran, a man who's been described here, who dedicated his life uh, to the military, to the army here in France, to the police service, uh, doing a tour of Iraq for two years before coming back uh, and, and working uh, in the gendarmerie in the south of France. So that will be uh, the focus of the tribute that Emmanuel Macron will give uh, when the, the service here gets underway in around half an hour's time.